and welcome back to my channel welcome welcome if you are new here hi i'm nay and here we talk about all things looking good feeling good and smelling good at relatively affordable prices for the most part so if any or all of that sounds interesting to you just gotta hit that subscribe button join the fam so today i guys i broke my no buy But I feel like I did it in an okay way. I got two more fragrances from Dapper Fragrances. If you don't know what Dapper Fragrances is, it is a clone slash dupe house. They do have a few originals I've seen. Um, and I had, I purchased two fragrances from them. Um, and I love them. I think it was a really good price for the quality of the ingredients. And I actually do like the bottles as well. Which I is always a bonus for me. It's not a per se requirement, but if the bottle's cute, it makes me just feel better about spraying it. So I went ahead and got two more fragrances. I think they're like their products range from like fifteen dollars to sixty five dollars. I went and just got fifty. I think I got fifteen amounts because I really didn't spend a crazy amount of uh, money to be honest. Um, let's just open it up so here it is i like that they put it in these small boxes because no shade on other brands uh, but i just feel like a lot of the time they go and um what's happening right now they go and put the fragrances in such massive boxes and it's just kind of like i guess a waste to me if you can just wrap them up together and, and get them shipped the last two times I ordered from Dapper, I only ordered one fragrance each. And I didn't see any problems in terms of, like, leakage or... So, like, here, I'm going to show you. Like, you see how compact that looks? You could do that and wrap it up. I also love that they always give two samples. Ah, so they gave me Nishane Ani X and Celine black tie. Interesting. I was interested in the, I don't know about Celine black tie, but I was interested in the Ani X. So let's take a quick look at sniff of those first. What a shame, baby. What a shame. Could have been with me instead of what's his freaking name. Okay, black tie. We're smelling the black tie. My internet has decided it's not gonna work right now, so I can't even pull up anything. Oh wow! Oh wow! So I'm getting powdery. It's very strong with some sweetness, and there's something. Um, really alcoholy, like rubbing alcohol. Hmm. Mm. It's like a powdery sweet fragrance, but there's like an alcohol smell, like um, not a boozy, like an actual rubbing alcohol smell. Okay, let's smell the one I was ex kind of interested in, Nishane Ani X. So Nishane Ani has a lot of hype going on. Well, has had a lot of hype and I think still does. People still mention it. And my thing with, I like this one better. Nishane Ani, I have a dupe from, I believe, Be Layered. Guys, it smells kind of like Vicks in a good way, but still kind of like Vicks. This one smells more peachy, and I think there was peach in the original one, or maybe it was just the dupe that I got of it, but I feel like I smelled the original and I got similar vibes, so I could be wrong. Don't quote me. But I'm getting like some like peach or some fruity note in here. But there is that background of this Vic. Why don't I smell Vic? No one else has commented that or said that in a video. It's just me. So obviously Nishan Ani is just not for me. So it looks like I got the bigger bottles. 
Where's the opening for this? Can I just push this out? No? Okay, hold on. Oh, here it is. Found it. All right, so here we go. Let's open these up here. Yeah, I did. I got the 30 ml of that one. That juice is dark. It's a pretty color. Um, and then, come on. Okay. Oh, yeah, and I got the 30 ml of this one, too. Okay. I hope I love both of them. Okay, I got Breathe. I have not smoked either of these. So, let's do this one first. This is the um, Atelier Loon Feline. I've heard a lot of things about this. I've heard a lot of things about this that has made me super duper interested in it. And I should have, I don't know why I didn't just get the 15. You know why? Because I got the Acro Bacon 15 ml and I feel like I'm going to, I smell it from here. My hand, oh wow. Okay, anyway, I feel like I should have got the 30 ml of the Acro Bake, so I feel like I'm going to try to avoid getting 15 mls now. This is delicious. Is there leather or suede in here? Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is... <laughs> This is vanilla, but like like with like a leather or suede going on. I wish my computer was working right now. Actually, let me go get my iPad. One second. acting like I can. all right so i'm back i got my ipad i have pulled up loon feline because it smells sweet but there's definitely something in here that is giving me like a leather slash like suede type of note so you have cinnamon ah cardamom pink pepper and there's a little spice green notes cedar wood and amber ambergris styrax precious woods Tahitian vanilla proof balsam musk so there isn't 
a suede or leather no interesting um there's something very smooth and almost like leathery sweaty about this interesting i love it but it's sweet i don't really get like a super i guess i do get like a spiced smell but it's not spicy cardamom could be really punchy and really like strong um so i don't think they put a ton of that in here because i'm not like look at that can you guys see the, the oil oh it's this is so strong i love this oh my gosh oh wait no not i think i smell more of the pink pepper now this is very sexy serious kind of mysterious oh i love this green notes hmm I definitely get a sweetness in here. I definitely get like a spice quality, but I get like the super smooth texture, like almost like a leather or suede note in here that apparently is not in here. I really like this. I am I really like this. This actually, funny enough, gives me along the lines of like oud satin mood. It's not the same thing at all, but like in the family. Oh, wow. This is a... <laughs> I really like this. I'm going to 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 as of right now. I don't want to give it a 10 out of 10 until I actually wear it, make sure it doesn't give me a headache and stuff. It is still warm outside, quite warm, but it's cooling down. So like it's like 70s, 80s, low 80s, high 70s, which is much more feasible, especially as nighttime starts winding in and it gets cooler. Earlier in the morning, it's cooler. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I got this. So these are both 30 ml bottles. Are you sure? They look very different. So this is saying that they're the same. Um, interesting. Let me get my other 30 ml. Yeah, so the 30 ml looks like this one that I have. This is my Hufflepuff. And this just looks smaller. But my 15 ml looks very slim. So I'm not sure. Who knows? That's fine. I'm sure it's hopefully. I think it's 30 ml. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I'm liking that. I don't think I'm gonna spray a lot of that because that's it's very strong. It's um very, very, very <laughs> it's very, very, very strong. <laughs> um let's go back. And this next one I have is their formulation of Silky Woods. Um, I'm super excited about this. This is one of those fragrances that gets a lot of hype. Um, and I think the <sighs> bottle of the original is super pretty too. It's like a gold bottle, like metallic gold covering it. And this is supposed to be like another spicy, warm vanilla. I love a good sweet spiced fragrance one of my favorite fragrances of all time is kayali sweet almond pink pepper okay so this is lovely this is lighter but still This is lovely. I still cannot believe there's not like a leather suede note in Atelier's, the Loon Feline. This is brighter, not as heavy and thick. I would say this is not, oh, is this, hold on. Yeah, Loon Feline is definitely stronger. That's not to say that Silky Woods is weak. It's a little spiced. Guys, why am I struggling? Hold on. And I feel like because I just, I should have sprayed this one first. I thought Silky Wizard was going to be. It's definitely more bubbly. More, 
I feel like I could wear this now with absolutely no problems. So you have powdery vanilla, warm, spicy, woody leather. Musky tobacco, sweet balsamic cinnamon. Hold on. I think that's the wrong one. Oh, Lord, hold on. Guys. This is a spicier, a fresher, lighter. I'm not really getting the vanilla. Oh, hold on. I like it, but it's not as strong as I thought it was going to be. At least how people play this off to be. I would wear this right now, guys. I'm definitely getting like a spice, like a pink pepper. Additional information. Are you not going to actually give me notes? No? It's not as projecting or as booming. It's definitely closer to the skin for me. I'm going to have to go and see what other people said about this fragrance. I like it. But I'm not as impressed as I am with Loon Feline by Atelier. I like it, though. Funny enough, I say... Oh, it's definitely warming up onto my skin. I wonder what exactly the notes are. This is not booming like I thought it was going to boom, but I'm not, per se, disappointed. Let's go on to Fragrantica real quick. Free ran check out mm -hmm. okay Cinnamon, saffron, suede, oud, ylang ylang, jasmine, tasting vanilla, tobacco leather, sandalwood, musk, olibanum. Interesting. I like it. I'm not supremely impressed. I'd give this like a 7 out of 10. And I want to cozy up with a good book and have a comforting scent make me happy when I turn to this. It's a bit too strong. I think because I smelled Loon Feline first. I think that's what it is. I don't think this is a strong. It's nice though. It's warm. It's. Uh, I think the, the first woman explained it pretty nice. Like cozy up comfort with a good book type of scent she's not disturbing the entire room but you're if you're in my close proximity you might smell this i'm gonna um yeah i'm gonna give this a 7.5 out of 10 and this is a 9 the loon feline is a 9 out of 10 so these are the two that i got so yeah oh excuse me that's all i want to talk about today um let me know if you whether the original another dupe house's dupe of it or even dapper fragrances dupe what do you guys think of slippy woods um and atelier loon feline let me know down in the comment section below thank you so much for watching this whole video if you liked the video please don't forget to hit that like button subscribe this is so much more punchier i'm actually to say that but this is definitely more comforting more warm like not more warm it's a warm comforting closer to the skin type of scent i wonder this would, might go well with kaoli sweet diamond pink pepper if i if i want to wear sweet diamond pink pepper like let's just say tonight i'm going to get a drink with uh with someone and i 
want to like wear this and i want and I, oh, I want to wear sweet diamond pink pepper but i don't want to do too much because it is a very strong fragrance i'll probably like cover myself in this and then give myself two spritzes of sweet diamond pink pepper and i think this would work very well oh yeah no it's a warm nice smell yeah i just think perhaps for the price of silky woods i don't know what This is a pe you people who like this also like Angel Share, Nisha Ani, By the Fireplace, Gris Chanel, Grand Soir, Lyra, Tabac Vanille. No. So these are some of these they're comparing. Bal de Freak. No. People just say it ish. Because that none of those smell. Rouge smoking. Okay. Black Phantom. Chaz Club, interest not the Lena. Please come up to my face, yo. People just click at me. <laughs> anyway, hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.